Hey all, this is our lesson on lines in photography. And you can find lines everywhere. I love looking for lines in photos. In fact, I just spent a long time, you can see I have 74 photos for us to go through, where I had to make myself stop looking through my photos for lines in them. Uh, as samples because I have so many of them. It is a technique I use all the time. It is also used in conjunction with that rule of thirds. Um, and so we're going to be looking at that. And um, this is a graphic I made like I think back in 2008-2007 um, to show uh, for a lesson how interrupted lines do not work as well as clean lines that lead the eye. And so you see when I have them one on either side of the railroad tracks, railroad tracks make great lines. You know every time you see a photo with the railroad tracks that's artistic, how cool they are. But um, you know you get more than one person in and uh, it's not as natural um, taking it because you can interrupt the lines. So it's not good to interrupt lines. But you see over here, nice clean lines. And we're actually going to look at that a little bit better here. Um, let's go up here and start with this photo shoot of these guys, and my son and his friend. This is uh, where it shows you we use the columns as lines and you can see the columns going this way uh, make a make lines that are good as well as the lines in the columns going up and down plus all the texture in the photo is really cool the lines on this photo um, you see lines everywhere you see texture everywhere which is cool but the ones that are actually working is, are these lines in the sidewalk that actually uh, make your eye focus right here and then your eye goes up to here and all of this is on the rule of thirds. So watch what the lines in the sidewalks and in the streets are doing because they can uh, be utilized in your photos. Now I remember taking this photo and, and this is when I first started experimenting with lines and these guys were sitting on the bench and I was way over here to the right looking directly onto them and I was thinking well this isn't very good this isn't anything special and I started looking for lines and I realized that the chain was a line um, all the way down the sidewalk and I moved over really close so I'm almost next to the chain and I was able to get that line in the photo. So the, the chain itself and the pole uh, create a line that leads your eye to the guys. And this is that photo we were talking about in the beginning where it's an interrupted line. It doesn't work very well because uh, your eye gets confused. It doesn't, it tries to start following the line of the railroad tracks and um, then it wants to jump to both sides and it just doesn't quite work and when you put both guys on the same side that line works um, and this also shows perspective you see how wide it is at the end here and how narrow it is here Whenever you see lines that do that, that's perspective working, where it's narrower out there um, than it is here. Um, here in Cape Girardeau, where I live, this is a classic shot. A lot of people take uh, the photo of this sign with the line of the wall going down. And here's your perspective, nice and wide and very short here. Um, and the reason so many people take this photo is because of the lines that are working that make it so cool. Um, this photo here, and most people would try to get this bench in the foreground out of the way. They would try to move to where it isn't in your photo. But I utilized it to create depth and perspective and a leading line. You can see the line of the edge 
of the top of this bench is leading and pointing right to the guys. It leads your eye right to here. All of this is kind of on the rule of thirds. Of course, you have the line of the bridges. Bridges are great for lines. You got the line uh, here. There are so many lines I could have chose to use in here. But the one that, that's working is this foreground in color, and it's giving it so much depth. There we go. Walls at work again. So we have perspective. Um, how many times have you seen photos of like a baby peeking up over a wall or a small child peeking over the edge of a pool? Um, use those lines uh, the, to make those uh, really cool shots. It grounds everything. So making the guy sit on the wall like this or lean over the wall uh, really created a lot of uh, grounding. Um, when you take photos with um, walls like this, uh, you almost need to get right next to the wall walk back and forth until you see that perspective in, and those leading lines and these lines all lead right to these guys. I'm standing on the wall here and so that created a leading line here and kind of grounded everything. Uh, lines can be used to ground your photos. And I'm still standing on that wall, and so I'm using that wall on the rule of thirds line, uh, kind of as a leading, uh, leading line. Of course, this line back here with the road is also leading. It gives perspective. Thinner here, wider here. Oh, that's the one we looked at already. This is a photo uh, my grandfather took of the courthouse in Dane, downtown St. Louis where my great-grandfather was the head carpenter. And if you go in there, you're going to see that amazing carpentry work in there. But I could have taken a photo of this straight on, but I chose to come to the side and I have these angles of the edge of the frame which are creating lines it shows that it's hanging on the wall it gives realism to it and the lines are working this is that same photo we were looking at earlier and I pulled out a few layouts to try to show you how you can use lines in layouts just like you do in photos and so um, You'll see here in the background, this is simply a mat, <laughs> just a mat with a border on it. And, you know, I used it uniquely by blending it into the background. And it's actually the same mat here, here, over here, and down here. And I, I used very little for this layout. I just did a lot of blending. But I placed those mats so that the lines would be leading. So we have this line that we already talked about in the photo, and it is continued up onto the line of this mat. And then over here, you have the line continues on up and out also. Um, so not a grand example, but it does show how I, you know, if, you, if I would have moved those lines in those mats I was blending to a different place, it wouldn't have been quite as effective. Uh, this is that same photo, but I cropped out my son's friend because I wanted to journal about him. And I just stuck it in there because it shows how I used uh, the lines. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that my son is here. And here is the rule of thirds line for the entire layout. And there's another one over here. But I put my son right on that rule of thirds on the layout. And that's why um, that's working well. This is an example of how you can take the lines and extend it on out um, into the photo. So I have this rebar grounding everything. Uh, this here was actually, I just made a selection on the photo and I copied it to a new layer and put a drop shadow on it. So this is actually the same photo. 
but I took this rebar and I copied that photo and I brought the rebar out here and blended it into the paper in the background to extend that on out into my layout and then I took this line from that I cropped out of the photo and I took and made a selection of the background paper and I continued the line with a lesser drop shadow so this line continues also as well as this line father son under a bridge use of lines to lead the eye to them and they're on the rule of thirds line this is a great example of using lines this is the photo most people would have taken where you just take the photo of the flowers and it's a beautiful photo um, but I allowed the line of this wall now this lady was sitting on the wall so she ruined my photo and I just gave up taking it <laughs> I said maybe I'll clone her out but you can see I haven't done that yet but uh, the the line of the uh, wall that was holding the flowers in uh, brings so much more depth and perspective and, and shows you how many more flowers there were than something like this. So look for the lines and use them. And this has lines in it. Um, the line of the wall and the line of the edge. Now I could have stood over to the right and like a lot of people and just taken a straight on shot of these flowers but I am actually standing like almost in the flowers um, and because I kept moving until I could get the perspective that I wanted. You have to move your body around until all of a sudden it goes, ah, there's the photo when you see it in your frame. And what's happening here is uh, it's wider here than it is here showing perspective the eye is being led right from here all the way down to here and right here at the end is the rule of thirds point sometimes we have rule of thirds lines sometimes we have the points where they intersect and so the intersection line is right here where the eye is being led so that is a key for um, lines try to follow where they're leading and then put where they end up on a rule of thirds point um, roads make great leading lines um, shows activity uh, they are on the rule of thirds line and where the road leads over here is on the rule of thirds line. So I'm using the rule of thirds twice in this photo. And the same here is the edge of the bridge is leading to them. I could have stood right out here on the bridge in the middle of the bridge but I got over real close and I used it to so that I had to move around a lot to frame this shot I remember <laughs> they have to be so patient my family sometimes but and they are they're patient with me and so the line moves all the way around um, I wanted to get the bridge that it was wide I wanted to get how it twirled around and I wanted to get the line leading to them as well as getting them on the rule of thirds line themselves and so I think I achieved all of that and this is another photo of the same thing um, they are not quite on the rule of thirds line but it's really cool all the lines leading up to on this pole so that made for uh, an artistic photo there the line in this photo is actually the line of trees and the line of trees is leading up to the old lady at the reenactment she's not an old lady she's pretending to be an old lady and this is a great example um, I everybody's at parties birthday parties lots of parties taking photos of things on the table um, but 
you can use the line of the edge of the table in your photo. So this edge of the line is what I was actually focusing on when I composed this shot. Now, you know, I was looking at how neat the light was in the frozen margaritas. And you can see um, it's a crooked photo because the TV in the background is not uh, lined up horizontally. But that didn't matter. I was focusing on this line and how it flowed through the photo and makes your eye come back around and makes you focus on this stuff. If I would have stood in a different way, I would have just wanted to focus on the TV. But um, yeah, this is a beautiful flowing line here. Um, this is a wall. Uh, that's creating a leading line. It's wider here than it is here. I love wineries. You're going to see a lot of winery photos. I love going out into the vineyards. I love all the lines in the vineyards. And there's lots and lots of lines in this photo. Um, there, the lines, of course, of all of the stems coming down. There's lines in the rows over here. But the line that's actually working in this photo is this line at the edge of this field coming into here and the top of these coming into here and it leads the eye right here to yes you guessed it the rule of thirds line <laughs> so that's why this is working and here is another winery photo but now we're down there with the wine barrels and um, a lot of people, and I'm going to keep saying this, this is what you, people tend to start doing before they um, learn to frame photography better. I could have stood right in the middle of this and taken a photo down or right over here and taken it straight on more of the barrels. But I was focusing more on the leading lines. So we have the line of the top of the barrels going down and the line of the bottom of the barrels going down and it's wider here than it is there giving us perspective and the eye starts here and leads all the way down to these barrels and this is on the rule of third line and we also have lines here giving perspective the the concrete line and the the line of the archways and things so use those lines they're everywhere this is an example of a good example of a bridge photo lots of people like to take pictures of the bridge and they stand right in the middle of the bridge and it might be okay we're going to see one of them here in a bit but this is more what most people take now it's a blurry photo it's bad because it's a blurry photo but i included it to show you how this is you know i'm even off to the left a little bit. I'm not straight on, but this leads you across to kind of, you know, it doesn't work. Even though it leads you over here to this rule of thirds line, it just feels off. You come back over here and I allowed more of this foliage to come and it leads me right through here and it keeps all this on this rule of thirds line here. Um, I don't know why exactly but it does work better than the other one um, and so don't be afraid to move and keep refocusing and take the same shot from different spots because even though this one probably should be working with this leading to the rule of th thirds line here this one worked so much better next one up is looking out from uh, deck onto I think the Ohio River <coughs> and uh, so the decks fences they provide great lines um, and now I could have just stood straight and taken a photo straight out and uh, which is what a lot of people do and then I would have just had the deck across the horizon at the bottom and that would have been too artistic this is more of the leading lines there's lines going up the river However, this is even more leading lines. You can't get the river. I was hoping to get the river, <laughs> but that was a uh, exposure um, problem there. And but you see how this line leads to here, and this line leads to there. We're wider here than we are here. Having a wedding couple 
you know, standing about here with this line leading to them would have been a great photo. Um, this is at the St. Louis Arch. Um, this is just a simple uh, example showing a post on the rule of thirds line. That's my line. It It's all about, the photo is all about the light on the uh, grass and on the pond and the light coming through but this being on the rule of thirds line in the foreground kind of grounds everything and makes it feel good. Um, let's go to this one first. <coughs> this is also of course downtown St. Louis so I thought I lines I love lines so I tried using these lines to take this photo but it's too busy um, the lines aren't working in the right way. They're not on any rule of thirds line. I tried to make this sign on the rule of thirds line, but it just didn't quite work. So I zoomed in and voila, there the lines are working well because this line is coming to here and this line is coming to here where they meet all on this third of an area. And the eye, those lines are all leading to the sign. So it's much better than this busy thing. Still downtown St. Louis. Uh, you know, a lot of people would stood would have stood right in the middle of this path and take tried to take a photo, but I came over here all the way next to this line and purposefully took this photo so this line led from one side of the photo to the other. It's pretty cool. Uh, another photo where the downspout is a line in the photo and it's grungy it makes it cool too but it grounds everything uh, this is the same as that other photo shoot same place only we have the chain once again leading the line and the stuff right here leads away so it just leads from from here to there and gives us a perspective. Perspective is kind of what we're going after. This is the not so good perspective of me on the Ohio River. Uh, you think that this would be good perspective with the line of the dock leading right out to where I am, but when you look at this one, you realize that line is utilized a whole lot better. This is all focused on more of the rule of thirds, gives uh, gives us a setting. So this just does not work quite as well as that. So move around and, and zoom in and out and take different things and you'll get that better shot. This is another example of your table line. This is the edge of the table leading us across the photo. It would have been better if the wine bottles were right over here on the rule of thirds, but I'm showing you this photo to let you see how a table line can be used in a photo. And I've said it several times already, but I could have stood back and taken a photo of these wine bottles straight on. It would not have been as artistic as this, which gives perspective because you can clearly see these wine bottles are larger than these wine bottles because of the lines going down. Steps leading to them, lighting leading to them. Simple as having them peek around the edge of a wall. Uh, the wall grounds everything and create the edge of it creates a line. Obvious lines here. The uh, uh, line here going up this way and that way. There's nothing really on the rule of thirds. I mean, it kind of leads the eye over here and I wish the grape were over here, but I'm sorry. Uh, the grape grew where it did. Uh, but it's still made for artistic photo. This is downtown Chicago. Uh, I kind of got out here in the danger zone in order to get the perspective I wanted, but these lines are leading straight to the oncoming train lights. So that's showing perspective and depth. 
Um, also in Chicago, I do not know who these people were, but I took this photo just to show wh where we were standing, what it looked like. And you see the lines of the fence are both leading to where these people are standing, and it would be a great photo if I knew who they were. But this is the same location, and this is my husband carrying my bag. He's a real man's man. But this is where you can use the lines of in the window to lead the eye. So we have this line here leading the eye to my husband's head and this line here leading the eye to my husband's head. It's wider over here than it is here, but it and he is on the rule of thirds line. So that's more lines. See, you can see lines everywhere. This, there's two of these photos. Um, I want to show you both because one is better than the other. This is uh, the line on the edge of a building looking up and your eye is led right here. And where is that? That is right on that rule of lines through. <laughs> I'm talking so much I can't, can't get it right. The rule of thirds point. Not just the line, but the point. And you look at this one and you think, wow, that shows how much taller the building is. But it leads you right up here and it just doesn't feel comfortable. It's not on one of those rule of thirds. And this one works much better. Obvious lines there with the box. More perspective lines, wider at the bottom than the top. Trees, I love taking photos of trees. Gives perspective of a line of trees wider here than it is here. The road helps also lead the eye through there. Um, this is another layout example. I wanted to show how you could use the lines in the photos in your layouts. Obviously that we've learned roads and trees have great lines, tree lines. Uh, but I took the photo and I put it in the background and applied some filters to it. And you can see that line continue out into the layout. Now I tried to, I think, make this continue from here all the way out this way. And I couldn't get it to look right, but it was a good idea. <laughs> and if you could do that, that'd be great. I know, I take photos of crazy things, but this is some moss, and most people would just stand straight and look at the moss, but I've actually got my cheek up against the moss in order to get this photo, and it gives perspective. It gives these leading lines naturally, um, and that were naturally built into it, and I have depth of field where it's blurry out here, and uh, where it's in focus is actually on the rule of thirds line. That's obvious line of bricks. I'm just showing you more lines that you can find and utilize. This is another great example. Let me go to this photo first. So this is our friend with his dog on the tractor, and I had the road, and I was like, yes, a line. All right, I'm going to try to get that line to lead to him. And you can see I got the road leading right to the him, and they're all on the rule of thirds, and it's just not quite working. And no matter where I went, this side or that side, could I get it to look right? Of course, he is moving, so I had limited time. But this one where the line is uninterrupted with the road and he's on the rule of thirds worked out much better. Um, so remember that don't interrupt those lines because it messes up the photo. Obvious line in Hawaii, I put the line of the fence and the line of the where the ocean meets the sky, the horizon. They're both on rule of thirds lines, um, made for a good photo. Uh, more road with perspective, wider here than here. Same thing with the trees. We love photos of trees. This is also in Hawaii, oceans um, and beaches. You know you've seen them a lot of times online. 
uh, and in photos where the the shoreline is used well. In this case, I used the uh, wave because this wave carries me from one side of the photo to the other and to this one green spot. If I would have waited for the wave to come in more and it would have just been down here, that would not have been as effective as this leading line across the photo. This is the lighthouse in, in Hawaii. It was under construction, but so I, it's not a great photo, but I wanted to show you how I put this line, the edge of it, on the rule of thirds. It's okay to cut off the lighthouse. Now, it would have been great if I had people over here with it, but it's just to show you that this line on the edge is on the rule of thirds. This is us, me and hubby, in my swimsuit, so we won't look long, but we stood in the corner of the fence line. So this line and this line led to us, and then we're on the rule of thirds, so you can see the canyon in the background. So these lines, once again, leading lines. And my husband's on a bridge, and as I said, most people would stand right in the middle, and um, I tried standing off to the right and having this line lead. It didn't quite work as well as I thought it would. Um, this line is actually working better than this one. But we stood in the middle, too, and it worked really well. <laughs> so the middle is not always bad. Uh, you have to move around. That's the point I'm kind of trying to show you is move around and look at how the lines are moving. I left the fence line in this one to show perspective. It worked out well. This is on the Nepali coast. I got a lot better photos of than this, but this gives really depth, uh, gives you size. Trees, lines of trees more lines of trees. This is just to show you how I left the fence line over here to ground the whole thing because I could have just I could have gotten this photo but that's not as good as this photo with that showing perspective. I love to lay on the ground and look at <laughs> up in the vineyards it just is such a great view. So this is kind of funny upside down but I have two of these to show you. This one is more zoomed out and I was trying to get the, the pole to work. The pole is my line. And, of course, this is a line. So I have this line going this way and this line going that way. So it's all over here on the rule of thirds. But this one hit it better when I zoomed in. This is much more artistic because it really makes sure I go right there to that rule of thirds line. Um, more lines. It leads you from here to there. And, you know, you can lay on the ground and bend down and get in all sorts of positions to get those lines to go across the photo. Uh, here we go. Fence again, leading all to the subject that is on the rule of thirds line. And that's Dawn. This was taken uh, with my iPhone, believe it or not. In a car, I think I was taking it to show the scrapping cop lives over here because I was headed to pick her up. And uh, once again, perspective really wide here and not so wide there. And I think that's it. So I look forward to seeing you use lines, find them in the photos, show them, use them so that they work well with rule of thirds, use them so they are leading lines leading to your subject matter um, use them so they lead to the rule of thirds point um, and i bet you you're going to have some great photos because lines make awesome photos i love looking for lines i hope you do too